here to launch into the universe the spirit of warriors. Written by the dynamic, brave, formidable, courageous, determined, faithful, and hardworking author, Queen! Yes, Lillian Okesh. So you finish the statement. What goes around? You read? What you saw? Be careful with this next one. Karma? <laughs> what I learned with them is that I learned about something I didn't know. I was able to see beyond what America was showing me on TV. I got to see into a heart of a person. To happen. So, y'all shake that! We going to the motherland. And we are going to see for ourselves. I know when you step off that plane. When we talk about kingdom, we're not talking about this earth. We're not talking about just living in everyday riches and all the rules. Right. Hello, beautiful people. So, let's do this. In region, including countries like South Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Kenya and Tanzania are a group of the Nilotic ethnic group that has great history and culture. You got this, baby. You got it. You got this, baby. You got it. 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 You got
come in this country, I don't see many Africans rising up and doing something great. So when I come in this country, as a 15 years old, living in America, within two years, I get pregnant. And when I marry that man, I was in deep depression. I don't know where to go, I don't know where to look. I look around my community, I can't find anybody to look up to. And every time when I watch TV, I don't see us Africa. And I truly, in my heart, I believe we are, I'm not, I'm not taking credit from anybody here, but we are the most talented and hardworking people in the world. So when I look around, I can't find anybody in my community to look up to. I say, you know what? I'm going to rise up and be that person. Wow. Yes. And so for me today to stand here and see all of you, my heart is so, I feel so blessed. And I am grateful and I am humbled by what God has lived me, protected me, and guided me. My mom, she's sitting right there. Mom, stand up so everybody can see. My mom was pregnant with me when they flee from South Sudan. She was carrying this baby. And she didn't know that this baby will put her picture in the book that everybody will see. Amen. Amen. And I know her as a hard-working mother. So my work ethic comes from my mom. Because I see her, she will work day and night to make sure we do not go sleep, uh, to sleep without food. Mm. And she will work to make sure she did not go to school. But she put education on one of the most important things in our life. Yeah. Yes. And she will do everything she can to yes. make sure we get education. Yes. And that's how she supported us. So for me, coming here in this country, when I look in my community, the pain of seeing my people not doing anything, the pain of seeing the young girls and the young men going to jail, that is what keep me awake. Mm -hmm. I said, what can I do? Mm -hmm. So back in 2020, when the tragedy happened here in Iowa, there is a Sudanese, uh, five Sudanese young boys, they get in a car, and they stole that car, and the police was uh, chasing them. They get in a car crash. Three died. Mm -hmm. Two was in the hospital. All the community come together, they were crying, they were making noise. But when I stand there, my whole body went numb. I was crying, maybe, just maybe, if I were to speak a little bit earlier. Just maybe if I were to rise up a little bit earlier, they could have heard my voice. And maybe that could have saved them. But even though, I didn't rise up earlier. I decided I would not want to see the next Sudanese young boys to get in the same situation. So I have to rise up. Not only rise up for my people, but I have to rise up for the whole community. So I'm here, I hear all the good things my people are saying about me, but I'm standing here only by God's grace. God is the one who made me. And he the one who continue yes. to guide me. Yes. And I know that this is just the beginning. Yes. Because what God put in me, the body of this giant, to help my people, I know that this is just the beginning. And I thank him. I thank you all of you for being here today. I am so grateful. I, when I look around all this room, I am connected with all of you. Because that's just the spirit God gave me. When I met with you, I know the good spirit. When I look at my daddy, I know the good spirit. When I look at my mom, 
when I walk in her room, yes. I said, I'm not leaving her. She's going to be my mom, so I, I can have any mom. Yes. <laughs> because when God put her desire in you, please don't put it to waste. There's a reason why God allowed us to come here in this country as a refugees. We're not only just to go to work and come home. We are to bring impact. We are to take the knowledge that we have here and go back to our Africa and educate. So now you know about the world people. Who are the world people? You're curious and you want to know them. And that's my goal. When I walk here, I said, I want America to know who are the world people. And that is my goal. And now, for some of you who are in here, you know, and I will continue to spread the word. So I am so grateful for standing here today. Without any further ado, there's a man who wake me up. When I walk into his classroom, he closed his eyes, and when I share my story, he said, you are a fighter. And I said, yes. So when I look at him, I say, you know, you're going to be my father. And he's been mentoring me since. And I am so grateful that he is going to be here today and talk to you about the positive of mine. Mm -hmm. So without any further ado, Tony, I want to say thank you. Because of you, I am standing here today, and I want people to get some piece of you. So thank you. So your life, you can change your life very simply by simply changing the way you think. And, and that, change, that changes everything. So, here's a prime example of a person who decided to take control of her life and create, because we're creators, that's what we do, we create our life with our thinking. We create whatever she wants to create. I don't know where she's going to end up at, but I want to make sure that she put my name in the book so she's going to make me famous. <laughs> so, I'm going to follow her. So just remember that, please share the word, share, spread the word about the power that we have and positive things, thoughts bring positive emotions and positive emotions bring positive results. So thank you very much. And I want to say this. I read Lillian's book, page one, the first three chapters, the first three paragraphs. I sobbed. My sister was talking about her family and her people, which brings ticks to the eyes. And she stretched back so many generations. I don't know my people like that. And then she talked about her people with such pride. Made me also feel that pride. And Lillian, she's taking me to Africa too. Okay, when I met her, I said, I'm going to Africa with you. And guess what? We had a conversation maybe a month or two ago. We are making that trip, Robin. We're doing it in 2024, 25. It's going to happen. So, yeah, shake that! We're going to the motherland. And we are going to see for ourselves. I know when I step off that plane and my feet touch that ground in Africa, I know I'm going to my knees. And I know I'm going to kiss that ground. And I know I'm going to thank God for bringing me back home. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be here today. We just not celebrating over just the winner, but uh, from the speakers, they really touched us. And uh, finishing with that, very emotional when we come from Africa. But sometimes we got those misunderstandings around. But some of you are Africans here and have tried to educate our brothers and sisters. The origin, where they came from, and what it means for our community is very important. So I applause each and every one of you for being the ambassadors from Africa, just which could help you. And more so lastly, I know it wasn't my speech today, but Lydia, you really made us proud tonight. 
your role to be a woman who has really impacted us and has shown us an example how we do need to do connections. And thank you, continue doing that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, my name is Tala Jacob. Uh, and Lily is my aunt. And I am also one of the children who grew up in Africa. So I have a little experience on what it's like. And I do understand her on that point of view. So, thank you, Auntie. <laughs> Amazing! Doesn't that make you feel so good yes. to know that God's love is circulated in your life? All your wants, desires, and needs will be met instantaneously because you are one with the Creator. Yes. And everywhere you go, He's with you. Yes. Everywhere you go, He's with you. That is the spirit of storytelling. You are a story everywhere you go, every step you take, people are watching you, they are looking at your life, and your life is a story. My sister looked in the mirror and she said, I want to see more people that look like me be an author, become a speaker, be a positive representative, and touch people all oh, throughout. This woman has touched people on every continent. So how because she decided to work on herself. I am a success. Thank you so much for for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. of a thing hoped for, the evidence of a thing not seen. So when she invited me to come and speak for this, for the book, she sent me my, the part of the book already, I read it, and she sent it to me in my copy. The book, believe me, honestly captured a lot of things that are happening in our community. Yeah. That has happened and is still happening in our community. greater 
country of the world, America, land of opportunity. If somebody who lost a mother when she was three can stand here and say, I did it. Somebody who was born in refugees came and say, I did it. Yes. If somebody who don't know anything about Africa, live in a country and say, I did it. Yes. What is holding you back? What can we do to help you? Because you see all this here, we have everybody. If you need to lose some weight, we got her. <laughs> if you want to work on your mindset, we have somebody. You want to tell your story, we have somebody. We have people. In America, here people are willing to support you. People are willing to support your dream. You just have to say yes for it. So with that being said, when you know the Luo people, we are such a proud people, okay? Everywhere we go, people will know us. Okay. That is who we are. We don't settle for less. And as you can see, the way we dress, okay. we don't go cheap either. <laughs> okay? When you are in a position that you are doing something great in this world, there's always something. And don't think that I'm standing here today, everything was smooth, I was all smiling like this now. There was a time that I would be crying in my bed day and night and trying to figure out what is going on in the world and how can I make this possible. Life is a challenge, but life is a choice. You can decide to do something great. And in my heart, I decide to make a difference. I decide there's no quitting in my vocabulary. I decide no matter what kind of storm I'm going through, no quitting and no going back because I want to leave the world a better place. So as I'm leaving you guys today, you hear all the speaker here. This is something that we are missing in our community for the people to come and wake us up. And this is what I continue to do. So in 2025, you see all these beautiful women, they are going to Uganda and South Sudan. So we, we have to take the knowledge back home. And we have to educate ourselves. We have to say, yes, we can do it. If anybody can do anything in this world, why not us? What is different between us? Is God that created us is different? No, it's the same God. So it's all about mindset. It's all about just saying yes. It's all about going for it. So I'm already going for it. And I always tell people, I say, look, I'm just a warrior. You're either running with me or get out of my way. <laughs> because I'm not stopping to ask you what is wrong. If you feel like you can run anymore, mm. just step yeah. out and yeah. take the rest over there because I'm going to run. Mm. Then my people need me. My community need me. My country need me. And I'm not backing down. And I thank God. I thank God for choosing me. I humble myself. And I ask him, I say, use me greatly. I'm not doing this by my power. When you read my book, I'm not doing this by my power. He guided me, he teach me, he wanted me to deliver this book, and I'm just humble. And today, all of you sitting here today, it brings joy to my heart. But when I look at this, I say, thank you, God. Because my mom, she's a mother of a warrior prayer. Yes. Okay. She can pray. And she pray for her children. That's why you see us here today. So it's very important for you to pray for your child. Pray for your children. Because you never know what God will do. So that what God has done for me. She always say, I always work. And now you guys bring me to America. I'm working at home at day and night. What's all this? She's complaining. We're just looking at like, Mom, wait a minute. We are working ourselves too to help you out. We are all doing something. And this is the thing that I am telling all the, ma the mother and the, the parent here. 
show some support. Show some support for your children. Without my mom, I would not be here today. There's a, so many times I'll go back to her and say, Mommy, can I just go 2,000? Can I just go 5,000? <laughs> and she'll be like, again? I'm like, I need it. And she's always willing to give. She's always there to support me. And that's all I need. Sometimes we just need that little gift. Mm. So I'm here to tell you, I'm a warrior. I will fight like a warrior. And I will continue fighting like a warrior so I can die as a legend. So, with that being said, I have so many people here to thank, but I can't thank you all enough. My sister, Leah Kennedy, my brother John, my sister Rosalie, my mom, my auntie, and all my uncle, and all the community. I just want to say thank you. And for all of you who travel, Yeshika, Dr. Denise, Robin, Trudy, all of my mom, Diane, Tony, Akel, I'm just sending love. And I will continue to do so. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I am grateful. Um, I'm going to do the book sign over here. If you want to come over here, buy a book and, and take a picture with me, I will be over there. Um, the e-book is on Amazon. Please go to Amazon and, and download that copy. It's only $2.99. So you can push me to be an international bestseller. Yes. OK? So um, just download that copy. and. Show me some love. I thank you. I love you all. I'm grateful. And I just want to say thank you, God. Okay. Thank you.